Hello there, my name is Amanda and today's video is going to be my December wrap up. So I thought December was going to be a better reading month for me considering that we had the holidays, Christmas holidays coming up, but I was just so busy with work and then so busy with family that I never got the chance to read that much. Um, I completed three books, which are these, which I'll go into more details now. I did start multiple other books, a lot of them for readathons or just books that I had picked from my monthly TBR, but I'm going to be continuing them in January as I did not finish them. But like I said, I finished three books, so let's just get into them really quickly. The first one that I finished is one that I started back in October. October, I believe. I think it was for the Witchathon, the first one. Um, and that is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. So the story follows a young girl whose name is Luna, who is rescued from a witch and accidentally fed moonlight instead of starlight and gains powers. And we kind of follow her as she kind of grows up with it. This kind of reminds me of a fairy tale, not specifically, but just the overall feel of it. Like, I can totally imagine this as a movie. Really, really enjoyed this book I gave it five out of five stars and I I don't I mean it took me so long to finish it but it had nothing to do with the book it's just me I almost didn't pick this up actually I am going to be picking up a uh, future or other books that Kelly Barnhill has made because I quite like her writing and her pacing of the book it's quite beautiful, honestly, and uh, like I said, I highly recommend anyone to pick this up. The next book I have is actually a book that I started in November, and I actually picked it in my monthly TBR, which was ironic because that's the month that it came out. And that book is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha... I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm not even going to try saying it. Um, I have since learned that I'm saying it wrong, but I still am unsure on how to pronounce it correctly, so... Not to do her any injustice to her name, I'm just going to call her Natasha. Uh, but this book is the first book in a series and it follows a girl whose name is, <laughs> hold on, Lei. So Lei is taken from her family and she is brought into the king's domain to become a paper girl, which is basically a kind of a sex slave to the king, which is really sad considering a lot of these girls are way young and either 18 I think is the oldest or 19 is the oldest which is saying something. So in this world there is a mix of demons and humans and half demons as I like to call them uh, in the book though they are under different names. Paper cast for humans, steel cast for half demons, half well half demon half human and moon cast for full demons and I really enjoyed this world. It totally reminded me of Inuyasha the manga and the anime. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the whole demon aspect and the half demon stuff and humans living together and it just also reminded me of like olden time like I wasn't picturing it in modern time it definitely had like castles and stuff and just really reminded me of that kind of period. I don't know if maybe she was influenced by Inuyasha or something, but it's definitely, definitely beautiful and just wonderful. Like, I already want the second book to come out, but it hasn't even been announced um, yet. Uh, who knows when it'll be coming out. So I also gave this book five out of five stars. It was definitely one of my favorite reads of the month, just because of not only the beautiful characters that we got to uh, see but also the character development and also just like the world itself like although it's very <laughs> distraught and is in like not in the best state right now you know especially with everything going on not only in Lay's perspective but around the world um, that we're only seeing a glimpse of near the end uh, it still seems like a very beautiful place and I just really like the world that um, the author made so I'm just really excited to read more of this and I'm definitely interested in future books by this author I will definitely be picking up some more in the future. The last book uh, is actually a graphic novel and that is Bingo Love uh, by T. Franklin, Jean Saint-Onge, and Joe Sun. This is the jackpot edition which features not only the main story but also um, some side stories made by other artists um, I believe as a tribute to the first uh, edition that came out and I really like this. I believe I gave it either 4, 4.5. I don't think I gave it a 5. 
I think I give it a 4 or a 4.5, I'm not sure which. Um, but this follows a story of two girls who not only are people of color but also grow up to have fallen in love when they were younger and then were torn apart and then they see each other later um, when they're much older and now they have to kind of deal with their feelings as well as obviously they have families now and uh, children and husbands and <laughs> it is such a good tale. I definitely had a couple of things um, that I didn't like about it, but it's more, it's not so much the plot or the characters, it's really more on the overall flow of certain parts because I just felt like it didn't really go well, but I mean it was beautiful. I really wanted to cry, especially in the beginning when um, the main, one of the main characters is um, explaining how she and the other girl met and fell in love and it was so beautiful and so adorable and yet so heartbreaking because it it is true just how some people are not accepting of um you know in this case lesbians or gays or just lgbtq people so not only is this a couple uh that we follow that is a lot older than most stories that depict uh lesbian relationships or even lgbtq uh relationships and uh but this also is from the perspective of two people of color which um shows in the story especially like how they were raised and how their parents viewed things and especially really religious parents as well and also their own family when they find out when they're much older it's really hard to explain but it's quite beautiful and i highly recommend anyone to even just pick up the regular edition um if you feel like you'll love this i definitely recommend the jackpot edition that's exactly what i did um i did not read the first edition of this book um when it came out but when i heard this was coming out i just wanted to support the author and artists and all that so so yeah highly recommend this and i also forgot to mention that uh girls of paper and fire also features a lesbian relationship um for between the main character and another paper girl so um i highly recommend it as well if you're interested in reading both an lgbtq couple so that is it for my december wrap-up i uh, those were the only books that i read um i did start a lot more uh, especially due to readathons and such but i am going to be continuing them in the month of january and i will hopefully see you in my next video bye